Hello, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. Hope you're all doing really well as usual. And tonight we're back to Brewdog. We're off to Brewdog to have a look at one of the new beers that have been released in Tesco's. This is the Brewdog Mellow Laser Quest. It's a marshmallow and pineapple hazy IPA. There it is. There's the can. So yeah, released what, just over a week ago in Tesco's. This comes in at, where is it? 6% ABV. So marshmallow and pineapple hazy IPA, it does sound very similar, if not exactly the same sounding as one of the releases they did not long ago called uh, Double or Nothing. And I think Double or Nothing was only available to people that have got the, the Brewdog shares, uh, funny enough, in Brewdog. Uh, one of my friends is one of those shareholders and she gave me a can of the Double or Nothing and it was actually really, really good. It was only in a 330ml can, I did review it and I thought it was really good. So now they've released Mallow Laser Quest, being a marshmallow and pineapple hazy IPA. So is it Double or Nothing? Has it changed? Let's find out, shall we? So let's crack on, let's get rid of glass, see how she looks, see how she sniffs. And importantly, how does she taste? I think I can remember vaguely what Double or Nothing smelt like. I haven't been back and watched my video of it. But I've got a rough idea, but I did enjoy that. That was quite pleasant. I can't remember how much this was, whether it was in the £2.40 or £3 range, because I know a lot of their beers are 2 40 at the moment in Tesco's. Some are 3 quid. It's going to be one of those. Cool, I can smell that already. Uh, any brood on date? Can dates, no, no can date, but there you go. There it is in the can. So let's have a look at her then. So there you go. A, a very large bubbled one finger head. I can smell that already. I can really smell the aromas coming off that. Lovely and hazy, super hazy. Don't know what it looks like to you in this light because as usual, the lighting in here is really poor, but it's got, it's got a, an orangey look to it. So let's see how she sniffs. That head's gonna vanish. Oh, it smells good. That does smell really good. Certainly very tropically. Tropically? That's a stupid word. Tropically. It's very tropical, is what I mean. Definitely tropical. Um, it, it, it's got lots of the elements of the tropical side of things. Pineapple, it's not overwhelming with pineapple on the aroma. It's definitely in there, it's definitely got a pineapple aroma, but there's also the, the grapefruits are coming through as well. The zestiness is there, but it's not dominant pineapple. So let's see how she tastes. Cheers. Okay. Now, that does taste different to Double or Nothing, from what I can remember. I'll have to watch that video back. I'm probably going to contradict everything about that video. Let me go again. Well, actually, I don't need to. Um, that marshmallow feeling is really strong. In fact, that marshmallow feeling, this is going to might sound a bit odd, really reminds me of the, the sort of marshmallow feeling you get from uh, the Brewdog Stout layer cake. It's got that, that same mallow, marshmallow feeling on the back end. And it, it's quite strong, it's quite prominent. And I don't dislike it. It's got a lovely bitterness to it as well. A nice piney bitterness on the back. So it was not quite on the back. Or is it on the back? That marshmallow really does take over. I'd say, yeah, it is. The, there's, <laughs> get, it, get your words out, Chris, get it right. Uh, the, the pininess is there and that is on the back. The marshmallow is just slightly before the back. And then you get that piney bitterness on the back. So on the front, it's got a nice sweetness, a nice sweetness from the tropical fruits. Seems to be more pineapple coming through on the aroma. But on the front, you've got a nice sweetness, a nice sweet pineapple flavour, a nice sweet, almost sweet grapefruitness with some zingy citrus going on on the front. And it just kind of blends very, very nicely into that mallow, marshmallow type feeling and then turning into quite a nice bitterness on the back. 
And yeah, you can really feel that, that mallowness. Mallowness, is that even a word? Mallow, mellow, mellow. <laughs> Blending into that, that kind of piney bitterness on the back, which shouldn't work, but it, it does seem to work. Mouthfeel wise, it does feel a little bit thin. I think Double or Nothing had a, a better mouthfeel. But that's not bad, it is different. I don't think it's going to be to everyone's taste. I'm um, just reading what else is on the back of here. Uh, our hazy India Pale Ale unpacks a sweet tropical fruit. It does do that, and it is sweet. I'll give it that. Bursting with pineapple and candied fruit, sh candied fruit, sherbet, and mallow notes. I don't get a sherbetness at all. Heading towards a sweet finish, and I don't get a sweet finish. I get a bitter finish on the back. <laughs> Pardon me. So that's interesting that I don't get things in the order that it's saying on there and it's not it's not bursting with pineapple there is pineapple absolutely but it's not bursting with it i quite like it and you get that bitterness not just on the back end but it kind of sits sort of here as well as well as down sort of here you get this that bitterness hoppy piney bitterness in almost in the sides of your cheeks at the back as well. Kind of just covers all the, sort of the whole back of your mouth. I don't dislike that. I think Double or Nothing was better, from what I can remember. I do think that was better, but that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So let's round it up, let's finish it off. So on the front, nice sweetness, nice sweet tropical fruits on the front. A nice sweet pineapple, a nice grapefruit, a nice citrus zest on the front, blending into that marshmallow sort of feeling, which is incredible how that how that works. And then finishing with a nice sort of piney bitterness. Overall, I quite like it. Would I recommend it? I'd say if it was two pound forty or three pounds in Tesco's, absolutely. Go on, go and buy one. See how you feel. I think there's tons of other reviews on this. I'm quite late to reviewing it. Uh, go and watch those as well. Don't just take my word for it, and I'm sure you won't. Um, but watch others. Would I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. Would I buy it again? <laughs> probably not. Because uh, I've had double or nothing. I've now had that. Um, so no, I, I probably wouldn't buy it again. But if someone gave me some, I wouldn't be disappointed. I'd happily drink it. So yeah, that's me done. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Take care, everybody.